Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening, Thursday morning Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday to show you a fun new project. So I am knee deep in getting ready for our summer retreat, and I was starting to play with the gorgeously made, yep, gorgeously made um, stamp set for one of the make and takes. And literally, I can't get enough of it. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I am going to show you guys a fun new project using that set. So hopefully you guys are having a good morning. Um, took the dogs for a nice long walk. Didn't see any coyotes, which is really nice. We actually haven't seen any in quite a while. So uh, knock on wood, they found a new home and not our backyard. Um, other than that, I came out to get ready for the Facebook Live, and then I'm going to go in and start some emails and working on retreat stuff. Good morning, Bev. Welcome. I know I was talking to you earlier. So I am going to go ahead and point you over. Hopefully, we can get through all three cards. Um, if not, we will get through what we can. So let me just make sure we are live on my iPad so I can see comments, and there we are. So here is the um, page suite that we're going to be working on. It's on page 102 and 103 of the catalog. The only thing I didn't bring in were the little gems up here. I need to make sure I have enough for the retreat. Um, so I brought in some diamonds instead, some rhinestones instead. But you can use these with the card as well. So it does have a suite where you get everything on this page for one bundle price, or you can just get mix and matches. But the designer series paper, if you do get the suite, you do get a pack of the designer series paper, but the paper is on sale right now. It's till the end of June and it's 1062 instead of 1250. So you can always add on a couple extra packs of the paper. So I didn't have any paper that was unopened and not already cut. So this is um, the retreats make and takes that I've already cut down to the size that I need, but I can at least show you some of the designs. This one is, pro they're all my favorite. I shouldn't say this one might be my favorite, but it is so beautiful. And I love the um, lemon line twist on the back. And then these two are very similar, but they are a little bit different. Um, and then you have, oh, they are the same. Hmm. There is another pack that looks just like this, but it's a little bit lighter of a blue, but I thought I grabbed that, but I didn't. So these are already cut and ready for my retreat, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Yes, darling, the paper is absolutely gorgeous. I am freezing again on my iPad, so let me just triple check and make sure I am on the right Wi-Fi and I am I don't know why my iPad keeps freezing hopefully the live isn't freezing so here is the stamp set and the dies that match um, I pulled one of them out so we can um, use it for our sentiment today but super fun and this little piece probably is my favorite so this little guy right here is my favorite. There was some white stuff on it just because I was using um, it to die cut and to keep it in place. But let me show you what that does. And it's nice and long so you can do the inside of your envelope as well. So it makes this little edge on the side and it is literally my favorite. And I opened this up and thought we need our white piece on the inside. Why don't we just do that on the inside as well? So it is a fun, different card. Um, good morning, Christina, welcome. So when I was doing one of the retreat pillow gifts, I had the Lost Lagoon and the pool party. They were kind of right next to each other. And I was like, those colors are gorgeous together. So that's why I picked um, these two colors. So this is Lost Lagoon and this one's pool party. So let's bring in everything that you need. So I have everything pre-cut and pre-stamped already, but this is Lost Lagoon. It is eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it right in half at four and a quarter. I'm just gonna fold this, give it a good crease. And then we can start with the inside. These are super quick and easy cards. 
Sometimes I like super quick and easy because it gets you in your craft room and you have something to show for after spending a little bit of time in your craft room. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the inside so you have room to write your sentiment. And now we can start playing with this. So there is a stamp set in here. It kind of has some words on it, but I don't think it really says anything. So I want to do a tiny bit different. Um, let me grab a scratch piece of paper. I kind of want to do a little bit different and add a little bit of texture to the back of my base. So I'm going to bring in the Lost Lagoon. And this is Pool Party. So I'm just going to ink this up. And I don't want it very bright, so I might just stamp off. And hopefully that's not upside down. I can't really tell if it's upside down. I don't think it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna stamp off and I just want a tiny bit of texture behind it. There we go. Let's see how this looks. Now using this die, let me bring in the die, using this big one right here, I've already cut out in the Lost Lagoon. And for the Facebook Live purpose, I went ahead and put the adhesive sheets on the back of it. So all we have to do is gently peel the adhesive sheet off and it is going to be all sticky. My original one that I did, I put glue on it and I was like, you know what? I haven't used the adhesive sheets in a while. Let's just go ahead and use it. So let me get this out of the way. I'm gonna put this right in the center. Good morning, Marie, welcome. There we go, perfect. And I went ahead and stamped these in the Lost Lagoon and Pool Party as well. There isn't a die for these, so you will have to fussy cut them out. Um, it wasn't super tragic, so it's definitely easy to do. I need to grab a couple mini dimensionals. Hopefully I have them. And all I have are the paper pumpkin ones, so they will do. So I'm just gonna put a couple little ones on here just to hold this down. Nothing super crazy. Let's do one more, there we go. So we can go ahead and peel the backs off. Get those out of the way. Maybe it's my iPad needs to be updated. That's why it keeps freezing. Hopefully the live isn't freezing though. So I'm gonna start with this one and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down. And this one is gonna come right over to the edge. Actually, I kinda of want it up a little bit. Oops, he stuck to the dimensional. I'm gonna put that one up just a smidgen. There we go. Super easy and super cute. I think I like it with a little bit of texture on the back of it. Just gonna lay this down. And then let's do the sentiment. So there is a little trick to the sentiment. Um, I think Stampin' Up! already knows about this. Um, when you get this set, it is cut off centered just a smidgen. So I don't know if you can tell, but you, when you flip it over, the words are right in the center. But when you're going to stamp, it's a little bit farther up. So what I do is I'm just going to ink this up. And where you think it's going to be in the middle, I am just going to scooch it down a hair. I don't know if scooching it down is a word, but it is the word I'm going to use today. So you can see how I centered it, but then I just pulled it down a little bit and I got it in the center. So I think they know about it. Um, hopefully they're working on fixing it. But I have two sets of these and both of my sets are like that. So I'm thinking it was just a cutting error. And we are all human. So we are all allowed to have human errors. That's what I say. So now let me grab some of my rhinestones and I'm just gonna sprinkle a few around. So this is super easy and super cute. And I loved that I did this on the inside. I have no idea how I came up with that, but I was like, huh, let's do it on the inside as well. 
So, and you can use any sentiment you want on the bottom. So there you go. And I think I do like having a little bit of texture on the back. Let's do this one in full strength and not stamping it off, but I am gonna put this up underneath just so I don't get my stamping surface yucky. So let's make sure my worth, my letters are going the right direction. So let's just see what stamping at full strength. And we can compare. Let me do down here. And let me do one smidgen right on the bottom. There we go. Get that out of the way. While I was um, taking the die out of, um, after die cutting it, this piece already came off. So I had it sitting on my silicone mat so it wouldn't stick to anything else. So sorry, my children, that was Cassie that time, apparently do not know that I'm live. It's quite rude that they are not watching me. And I never mute my children, so they have to know that I am in the middle of something. So I'm gonna grab a large dimensional and put on the bigger leaf. And I'm just gonna grab a couple smaller ones just to add it to the edges. There we go. Peel this off. Pick these guys up. Let's start with the pool party first. And then we're gonna come in with the Lost Lagoon. And I put that one up a little too high, so I'm gonna put this one down a little bit. Okay, I actually think I like the full strength a little bit better. It kind of gives it a little bit more dimension. This is where I stamped off and that one is full strength. Let's get it on the paper and see what it looks like. You could do a combination of full strength and stamping off. We could live a little crazy. So I'll put this on. Hold that down just for a hot second. I should have put the white on the inside first. But I think this is super cute on the inside of your card. It kind of ties the outside and inside together. Let's do a little bit of stamping. And then we'll put our last one together. And I'm using the same sentiment. You're great friends. Because I have so many great friends. Oh, that was a hot mess. I got a little um, piece on the edge. So we'll just flip it over. That's why there's two sides to each piece of paper. Put a dimensional on each side. I'm leaving the center open um, because the, um, the bottom of the stems, it'll just go right over the stems. Grab some rhinestones. There we go. So which one do you guys like better? Do you like the full strength or do you like the stamped off? or the no stamping at all. You guys can pick. I think, I know the videos don't do these justice, but I think the darker does look a lot better. Okay, I know it takes a while for it to show up in my newsfeed, but let's do this one. Let's do kind of a combination of both. I didn't realize I was gonna do this, otherwise I would have brought two blocks. <laughs> so I'm changing my blocks around. So we're gonna stamp off. Oh, see, Marie, you do like that too. I actually think I do also. But this one we're going to, oh, that didn't work. I don't know if I can flip this over. Oh, well, we're going to cover it. We're just going to stamp full strength. Our piece will cover that. So nobody will know but all of my friends that are watching the live that I made a boo-boo. There we go. Got to put the sentiment back on. I'm going to clean this really quick because I don't want to get another 
goober on my sentiments. So there's that. Let's grab our last piece. And I'm just going to pull this off gently. I love the adhesive strips. Do you guys use it very often? It adds an extra step to die cutting, but in the big scheme of things, it is well worth it. Especially when they're super tiny. We're using um, the die set that says happy birthday and feeling, feel better soon. And I will be using the adhesive sheets for that. No need to stress over crafting when you don't have to. Peel the last ones off. Let's put this one down a little bit. So this one can go up a smidgen. There we go. Grab our card base. I am gonna go ahead and put this on the inside first. I do that so it um, has a little bit extra time to dry and I'm not flipping my card over and it could move. So there we go. All we have left to do is the sentiment and the rhinestones and we are done. Let's ink this up. Remember when you're using it, pull it down just a smidgen so it gets in the center. I will have to remind everybody of that when we're at the retreats. Unless you're watching and coming to the retreat, then you'll already know. There we go. Rhinestones. And, oops, that one didn't want to come off. We are done. There you go. That is how quick and easy these cards are to put together. And the die cutting wasn't tragic either, or the fussy cutting. So there's all four of your cards, and I definitely think I like that little bit of um, texture on the back of it. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it this morning's live. Next week, I think we are back to normal. Today is my last shift. And as of when I get off at 7.30 tonight, I will have all of my medical hours. And finally, then we start the next six months. So hopefully I don't do this to myself and wait till the very last second and need to do like 180 hours. So cross your fingers that I don't do this again because it was pretty brutal. But anyway, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see everybody on Tuesday. Chat with you soon. Bye-bye.